Ibrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. How are you all? I hope you all are happy and good at your home. Okay dear students, I welcome you all to the YouTube channel of Allied School Salman Farsi campus. Let's start our today's lesson. Today we will read lesson number 15. It is from Oxford Progressive English and we will read play script. Okay, this is the dramatized first chapter of Great Expectations, one of the most famous novels of Charles Dickens, that published in 1861. Students, dramatized means that the continuous prose of the original has been turned into a drama or play. Okay, let's start our lesson. It's a story of a 10 years old boy named Philip Pirip, who is called Pip. He lives with his much older sister, Mrs. Joe, and her husband, the blacksmith, Mr. Joe, in a village miles away from churchyard. When the play starts, we find Pip in the churchyard standing beside the gravestone of his father and mother. He was very sad. He looks sadly to the graves of his five little brothers. He wished if only they all had alive, he wouldn't have to live with Mrs. Joe, even though she was his sister, but he was afraid of her anger. When he was there talking to himself, he heard a rough voice. He saw a man saying, hold your nose, keep still, or I'll cut your throat. He was terrified. It was a very dangerous man with a prisoner's iron chain on his leg. He was wet, muddy, and badly scratched. He hold Pip from his chin. Pip said, Oh, don't cut my throat, sir. Please don't do it, sir. The man said, Tell us your name. Quick, quick boy. Pip. Sir, stuttering in a whisper. Pip, 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 sir. The man once again said loudly boy pip a little louder pip sir now man said show us where you live point out the place pip pointing to the village a miles away there sir in the village the man said what fat cheeks you have got dear me if I couldn't eat them. He puts his rough hand towards Pip's face and Pip nervous. He said, Oh, please don't, sir. Please don't think of doing that. The man smiled broadly and patting Pip on the cheek. Now, boys, where's your mother? Pip, there, sir. The man, the man jumps with sudden fear and starts to run, thinking as if his mother is with him. Pip said, There, sir. He points out the grave of his mother. That's my mother. The man returns to Pip's side. Oh, so that's your mother and that's your father alongside her. Pip said, Yes, sir, that's him. The man. So, who do you live with? Pip said, Sir, I live with my sister, Mrs. Joe, sir, wife of Mr. Joe, the blacksmith. The, when the man comes to know that uh, his brother-in-law is a blacksmith. His eyes widen. He looks down at 
fixed the iron on his leg. He seems to be thinking deeply. Blacksmith, blacksmith. He suddenly puts his hand on Pip's shoulder and said, Now the question is whether you are going to be let to live. You know, what's a file? Pip was very afraid. He said, Yes, sir, I know what a file is. Then man asked him, Do you know what vitals is? Vital means food and drink. Pip said, Yes, sir, I know what vital is. Now, the man said, You get me a file, okay, and you bring me vitals. You bring them both to me, or I'll, ha I'll have your heart and liver out. Pip was feeling both sick and frightened. He said, Please, sir, let me upright and I'll attend to you better. The man said, You bring me tomorrow morning early that file and those vitals, and you never dare say a word to anyone or dare make any sign to anyone that you have ever met a person such as me and you shall be let live. Pip, shivering with cold and fear, said, Yes, sir. Then the man said, But if you don't do as I say, your heart and your liver shall be torn out. Now, I'm not alone, as you might think. There is a young man hiding with me, and in comparison with him, I am the gentlest person you could hope to meet. This young man has a special way of getting the heart and liver out of a boy. The boy was very terrified to listen to this. But the man said, at that moment, I am stopping this young man from doing that. But if you fail, if you fail, I won't be able to stop him. What do you say? It was very terrified. He said, I'll, I'll get you the file and the vital, sir. I promise, sir. I'll find what bits of food I can. I promise. Please, let him go. The man said, Say, may the Lord strike me dead if I don't. It means, if I can't do this job, Pip was very terrified. He said, after the man, may the Lord strike me dead if I don't. Then man said, Now, you remember your promise and you remember that young man too. You get home now and bring these things to me. And Pip, turning to go, said, Good night, sir, and he starts to run fast. The man said to himself, No good night for me. He looked at his leg, and he said, With this cursed leg, iron, and this cursed cold, there is no good night for me. And he was shivering. He pulls his damaged jacket across his chest. Okay, that was the end of your story. Now, I hope you have enjoyed the story. Now, the question and answer. There are 10 questions. Number one, why is Pip called Pip? Second, who is buried in the churchyard? And how does Pip feel about them? Number three, how does Pip, Pip feel about living with his sister? Number four, why is the man so wet, scratched and muddy? And where do you think he has come from? 
Number five. Why does the man jump with sudden fear when Pip points to where the, his mother is? Number six. What is a blacksmith's trait, and why do the eyes of the man widen when Pip says he lives with his with the blacksmith? Question number seven. What does the man say about the young man who is hiding with him? Question number eight. Who do you think this young man really is? Question nine. How does the man threaten Pip? And question number ten. How do you think Pip is feeling as he runs off at the end? Okay, students. Answer to these questions have been given on the screen, and the meaning of difficult words have also been given there. Now your homework. Write questions and answer in your notebook, and also learn them. The student from grammar, you will learn a story with the moral union is strength. This story is in your scientific English grammar. You can take help from them. If there is some problem, you can ask me. Okay, that's all for today. Have a nice time. Allah bless.